mild-mannered employee by day, blog TV personality by night. You're watching TDC Mugton. Hey folks, it's Nick and it's snowing like heck. Can't really see it. I'm gonna bring you along with me because this is probably my last one until the testament. This is not a type of driving event that you want to be involved in, but so be it. It's always good, and we're not talking a lot about a lot of snow. The problem is, is that under this snow, I'm going to be driving under my on number number two right now. Why number two? Because I need controlled traction. I need something that doesn't spin too fast, and I'll need to have a consistent speed, especially with the type of streets and the slushiness of what they're at right now. Oh, you son of a... People, whenever there's a small street, give way to small cars. And it's a pub crawl. Literally, that's what it is. And I'm gonna stop, but I'm turning because I don't want to get stalled. haven't come by yet and this has been ongoing since four in the afternoon. By we, I mean me and the rest of the people behind me. Having to fog us what the highway is. For those of you that live in the Maritimes, I hope you're faring better in your neck of the woods. And if you're actually watching this vid, leave a comment as to how your weather was when you left at about 5.30. Wow, you're gonna hear me swear blue streaks, uh, Canadian fashion. If I can't go uphill, I'm gonna have to go down this way. There's a slight incline that leads down. It's in the curve, which means I'll have traction, at least in the snowbank.
can't really start off too fast because you'll spin out automatically. There's all, with this much snow down on the ground, your tires are going to compress what's on top and you'll end up with a mishmash mess. The plow's already been by here, so this isn't too, too bad. As you can see, there's a rough wall of snow to the side. I can straighten you out. And I'm about the only car that's in this section of the street. Wow, okay. There's still some good snow. This is at least 10 centimeters of snow. I'll say 10-ish centimeters of snow. They're saying anywhere between 15 to 25 centimeters in the next 24 hours between tonight and tomorrow morning. I'm hoping this ends tomorrow morning because I plan on going to go to my, to my dance. And the plow is now passing by. There's one thing I can't stand is when there's only this much snow. I can appreciate the fact that it's expensive to run plows, but the one thing I can't, I, I have a hard time with is the fact that um, I find that they don't pass often enough. In certain cities, it's more logistically inclined, well, more logistically inclined to doing it properly. Uh, Moncton, I can't say that they're doing a bad job of it. In fact, I think that they're doing a pretty good good job of it. Except when they know there's a storm, at which point they try to avoid uh, passing until the, the worst of the storm is done. So that they can at least start scooping up the snow and make some headway instead of doing two steps forward, three steps back. But the biggest problem with this type of weather is emergency services, 911 for fire, police, ambulance. Oh. Yipper, that's how slick it is. I just put my brakes on and it wasn't a strong push and I went sideways. He's accelerating and it's a rear drive and he's being pushed to the side. Before I can even start thinking about going forward. And the, the only thing I hate about this type of weather is that because of the amount of snow that's falling and the traffic that's tamping it down, this will harden to ice before the plows can get to it, which means that by the time they start scraping, you'll end up with ice potholes. Ice potholes are defined as potholes created by ice, melting ice on asphalt. The asphalt itself is not potholed. It's the ice itself, but it's, it's as bad for your transmission as anything else. There's one thing I don't like doing is driving in a winter snowstorm. And like I said, this is my last will and testament in case you find my wreckage. Everything goes to my parents. <laughs> and they can contact my YouTube friends to disseminate my goods. I want my Ray Charles collection to go to Scratching Cat. Jay can have the Smurfs. Fat Aussie Bastard uh, can, can get my collection of mugs. <laughs> Sam can get my books. Meg can get my Mac. As long as you guys chip in for a proper burial, cremate me for God's sakes. 
dump me into a, a, a mix of dough bread and feed me to the Canadian Prime Minister of the time. Tell him it's gourmet bread. It's the F brand. It's a new brand on the market. I'm not going faster, folks. I'm going at about 20, 30. I can't handle higher speeds. Having a Yaris is a good thing. It's a nice little car to get you in and out of trouble. It's also the clearance that's a bother. I'd need a wider wheelbase and a wider tire to actually use it fully advantageously in winter time. Otherwise, when it's more than this and it's not plowed, you're going to be struggling with three hands to keep your car on the friggin' road, I can tell you that. 